This video will show you how to set up your Zoom-enabled classroom for hybrid instruction. Once you're in the classroom, there are a couple of ways to use the room to your advantage. The system should be on when you enter the classroom, but if it's not, the system will automatically turn on as soon as you approach the teaching station. If you wish to not use the system, simply select the up arrow on the right side of the touch panel. The screen will go up and the projector will stop displaying. You can run Zoom from your own device, or if you are an RGL, the classroom's built-in PC. Please be aware that general-purpose classrooms do not come equipped with a computer. If you are an RGL and want to use the classroom PC, enter classroom for the username and classroom for the password. Make sure the previous user is logged out of Zoom and Blackboard, or you run the risk of conducting your class with their account. Afterward, log into your own Zoom and Blackboard accounts. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, please watch the logging in, logging out of Zoom video. The video can be found on the Price Keep Teaching website under Zoom Training. If you're using your own laptop, make sure the Zoom application is downloaded and installed on your device. Start with setting up your laptop at the teaching station and opening up your learning management system. For our example, we will be using Blackboard. From Blackboard, navigate to your courses. Note the meeting ID. You will need this for a later step. Click the Zoom link that contains your scheduled class. Once clicking the Zoom link, you will be prompted to launch the Zoom app. Click Join with Computer Audio. Once the Zoom app is launched, the class has been started. Always remember to record your Zoom sessions with the In the Cloud option. In the COVID era, an easy way to keep students up to date is by providing recordings of the sessions that they may have missed. Make sure to mute your laptop's microphone, audio, and video as the room is equipped with a microphone, speakers, and camera. Once you have launched the Zoom session from your computer, you will have to make the classroom join the session. Head over to the touch panel and select the Zoom icon on the screen. Once selected, the Zoom Rooms app will be launched. On the left side of the screen, select the Join option and enter the meeting ID of your Zoom session. Once joined, promote the room to co-host on your device. The room must be set up as a co-host for the system to work. The classroom is equipped with everything to make your hybrid class a success. There is a microphone, speakers, and a camera installed in the ceiling. The camera is auto-zooming, so it will follow you along the front of the room. The microphone installed in the ceiling is only for students on the far end of the Zoom call, and it does not provide a voice lift in the classroom. Inform participants in the Zoom call to mute themselves when not speaking so that they are not coming over the room's installed speakers at the wrong time. To display your content on the projector screen, simply use the Share Screen feature within Zoom, and it will appear on the screen for the students in class as well as for the students on the far side of the Zoom call. If you are not wanting to share wirelessly, there is a cable provided at the teaching station that will plug into your device. As soon as you plug in, the system will automatically switch over. From this point, teach as you normally would. If you want to write on the whiteboard or blackboard, go for it and the camera will capture what you are writing. Be forewarned that it may be hard for students to see what is written on the far end of the Zoom call as the camera will auto-zoom on the professor's face. This can be adjusted in the Zoom Room's camera control menu. Once finished with class, select on your device End Meeting for All, and the Zoom capture will be ended. If using the built-in computer, make sure to log out of your Zoom and Blackboard accounts to prevent other users from using your class links. From this point, you will just need to pack up your equipment and unplug from the system. The room will auto-shut off when not in use. For additional help or information with general-purpose classrooms, please visit usc.edu slash spaces. For RGL-based classrooms, email us at oedm at price.usc.edu.